In Roxbury, Orchid Garden Pilot School continues to make academic progress one class at a time. Its partnership with academic enrichment programs helped this turnaround school narrow the opportunity gap amongst low-income and minority students. Faye Dukaran, a Bell educator, explains her expectations of her students. For me, the most important thing about learning literacy is for them to get, at the end of the school year, not just to be on par with their third grade um, class, co with that cohort, but also for them to understand what they're reading and be able to apply it to their everyday lives. With 90% of students that come from low-income families, decision makers at Orchid Garden and Boston Public Schools find ways to tackle the gap. Well, I think that some parts of we own part of that, uh, that in the sense of making sure that our curriculum is engaging, making sure that students see themselves within the curriculum. And I think that we're making, we've, we're making those changes. And the idea of what impact that race has in education and addressing those issues. City Year Corps member Isaiah Rotundi Gray says that academic enrichment programs in schools keep English language learners from falling behind in school. Having someone to, to sit with them on one-on-one -on -one or small group settings and, and tutor them and work with them on their coursework, which uh, there's a lot of students in, in Boston Public Schools, so having those, those small group settings is crucial. Orchid Garden's art-centered curriculum ranges from music to theater, recognized by influential people like cellist Yo-Yo Ma and President Barack Obama as a kickoff to the President's Turnaround Arts Initiative to increase arts education in underperforming schools. For Emerson College, this is Lara Onyenaha.